Welcome back to Filter. I'm Diane Mizzota, counting down the best basketball games of all time. With only the top three remaining, let's scour the bench and find out whose playing time is officially over. NBA Shootout 2004 loses their stamina early and fouls out at number 10. NBA Hoops is hip enough to sneak into number 9. Jordan vs. Bird one-on-one -on -one pump fakes its way into 8. NCAA March Madness 2004 gets busted for traveling and lands the 7th spot. Number 6 reuses our cup coasters with NBA 2K1. The shot clock turns to 0 as Double Dribble takes 5. And number 4 gives us a reason to skip Sports Center with ESPN NBA Basketball. So those 7 games go home ringless. And now enters the excitement of overtime. Our next game brings the pleasure of kicking some NBA butt out of our living rooms and into our local arcades. So check the couch for quarters as NBA Jam steals the third spot. NBA Jam is by far the coolest basketball game of all time. There's nothing cooler than shattering backboards and just destroying your opponents in it. It's like a combination of Mortal Kombat and a basketball game. NBA Jam is one of the better basketball games because something about seeing, you know, a guy with a big clown head doing three flips through the air and dunking and catching the rim on fire, that's just great in any game. Well, the guy spinning in the air with the shoes on fire, you're on fire, you know, the three-point shots, everything. That works. Yeah, that, that game was cool. That game was real cool because even though it was, like, really unrealistic, it was just fun to get secret players, secret characters. We want to use our second time out here and spend a little quality time with some very important people. We went out and double teamed a few of you to get the scoop on turning tricks. My best strategy for playing basketball games is that no matter what, you've got to just be shooting a lot. You can't try to necessarily set up an offense and just work the ball in like you do in real basketball. You have to kind of be pushing for fast breaks, going for dunks, uh, shooting three-pointers, and just hope you get a rebound. My strategy is just to move my fingers quicker than my opponents. That usually does the trick. Um, a lot of uh, head bobs, sometimes you push the button really quick. The buttons are sensitive, so you can fake out your opponent, then make a shot. I want to put my teams together in basketball games. I like to use realistic teams, work through, and actually try to shoot with the shooters. You know, use the centers how you're supposed to, you know, like a real game would play. Basketball, I don't have any tricks. Trying to figure out tricks or strategies, try to find the, uh, the player who seems to be hot, letting the game come to you and not trying to force it. I'll pick the, uh, the players on the other team and I'll double team them, like they're the guard or they're, you know, their power forward, depending on who their good player is. And offensively, I go with the uh, Phil Jackson triangle offense. Usually that's the way it goes. Just getting in people's face, you know, I think it shows a level of confidence how to break down your, your opponents. It's definitely your attitude on the court. When in doubt, dunk. Stick your tongue out too. Chicks like it. Well, we've watched hopelessly as eight titles were stripped of their jerseys. Now two remain, but only one will get the banner as the battle of the EA games begins. Do you believe that NBA Live 2004 has the ball handling skills to block out the competition? Or have you chosen the NBA Street Series as your preferable dream team? It's time to find out as Street meets Live for the final game in another filter face-off. Yeah, NBA Live, the whole EA Sports series, so realistic. I mean, every detail from the guys' tattoos to what sneakers they wear, it's, you know, when they say it's in the game, it really is all in there. It's really up in your face, it's really fast, they cut, you know, they cut real quick, they got a lot of cool moves, you know, like, I give it respect. That's another game that I felt that was very user-friendly. The graphics, uh, each year they seem to, to, to do better with the graphics, make it more realistic, put a lot of the player moves in there. It's very in-depth, uh, it's got all the NBA players, all the NBA teams, and it's really got everything you'd want from uh, a five-on-five -five NBA simulation style. It's just totally addictive and an amazing game.
NBA Street is the best basketball game of all time. Honestly, I mean, the, the, the fantasy element, the game breaker dynamics, excellent camera work, uh, great character customization, uh, attributes, the RPG element, all of it together is a recipe for an awesome sports game. NBA Street's cool because you get to see players playing uh, outside of the court, you know, where they're like gods of the playground. It's pretty cool. There's a lot more, you know, opportunities to trash talk and you know, a lot more, um, you know, flair to it. So I think that makes it more interesting. You sit next to your buddy on the couch and you know, it just makes it a little more exciting. In uh, filter face-off uh, for the two top games, uh, I'd probably go with Street. That's a little bit more m my style. I, I like it because it, it adds something different than just regular basketball. The polls are closed, the votes are counted, and the best basketball game of all time is the Street Series. Nine titles have fouled out, and the most valuable player is NBA Street. That wraps up this episode of Filter. Remember, the opinions expressed on this show are yours, not mine. So make your vote count on future episodes by logging on to the Filter show page at g4tv.com slash filter. Until then, I'm Diane Mizoda, and I'll see you at the next pickup game.